guys, today we're building a house in Bloxburg, but each room is a different fruit. We got six different fruits for six different rooms. We're gonna spin for this living room first. We can either get avocado, banana, strawberry, orange, blueberry, or watermelon. It's time for you to decide what fruit is the living room gonna be. Oh, is it gonna be avocado or watermelon? It's so close. It's gonna be avocado. At first I was like, is avocado even a fruit? But it is, it's literally considered a fruit. We're gonna be playing off of the fruit's colors, of course. And since avocado is mainly green, maybe we could use it as like an accent color, like here. I think I'm gonna connect the living room and the entryway area together. I cannot seem to figure out if an entryway is a room or not. Every website is giving me mixed answers. So I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna choose the contemporary end table. Because the avocado is like roundish, I'm gonna choose round furniture. Anything that reminds me of avocado, I'm gonna try my best to use it. We don't have anything that's an avocado in the menu. Why? Maybe there's an avocado in the build menu? No. There's this. <laughs> I don't think this looks like an avocado. I don't know. <laughs> this is literally all I'm gonna do for the entryway because I wanna focus over here where the living room is meant to be. This is kind of giving me an avocado vibe. You know that little seed in the middle of an avocado? This is what the ottoman reminds me of. The pillow colors are kind of complementing the avocado vibe. We don't wanna go too crazy with the green. It's gonna start looking unnatural. We need a coffee table. I'm gonna go for the contemporary one because it's round. Do you know if something is a fruit based on the fact that it has like a seed in it? Cause like apples have seeds. I think that's how you figure out if what you're holding is a fruit or not. Does it have a seed? Okay, but bananas don't have seeds in them, but that's a fruit. Well, it used to have seeds. I nearly forgot to mention to you guys. So I picked out these paintings like really early on for every single room. And since we're doing avocado living room, I have an avocado painting. I'm gonna put this painting here for now. Cause I really don't know where to put it. And I'm gonna give them this wall mounted TV. Maybe I can put it underneath. <laughs> Where do I put the avocado painting? <laughs> Maybe I could put it over here because this is still like a part of the living room area. A little TV remote so you can watch all the avocado cartoon shows. Can I just search by color? We don't really get too many options. Sure, I'll grab the floor plant. Why not? Bloxburg needs to add more avocado options. I'm not seeing too many. <laughs> this is a very green corner. <laughs> I'm using a lot of like smooth plastic because avocado is really smooth. Totally not because I don't know what other <laughs> material to use. Little photo frames for your avocado family kind of blocking the view, who cares? This is actually making me crave guacamole right now. I really, really want some guacamole right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna transfer this painting onto this painting stand because I feel that it'll blend so much better. That looks more natural now. Now you definitely know that you're in the avocado living room. I really like it because it also looks painted. Like it has those paint marks or whatever. <laughs> We're gonna grab these plain rectangular shelves, put two, we're gonna make them green. And then we're just gonna put a couple of books in here. Just a couple of green books. Do you like feel the guacamole in this room? Because I do. I can almost taste the guacamole. You know what? I don't understand why I feel hungry. Like I ate lunch before this. I don't know why I'm being this way. Why do I always remember that people need a carpet right after I finish the room where it's hard to put a carpet? That looks pretty good. The living room is still not like entirely done. This is just like where you watch TV. There's still this corner to finish. This corner corner is next to where the bathroom is meant to be, so I gotta be careful. Because I want to place a chair, right? But then you're gonna be sitting next to the toilet. Like, you know what? In this house, we don't care. I really want to add a huge bookcase. Like this traditional one. This is not looking good. Look at these angles that I'm working with. Sometimes I don't notice in my videos that I work with weird angles and I'll be like, hey guys, do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, you totally see what I'm doing, right? Meanwhile, everybody sees nothing. <laughs> That's gonna be our avocado living room. And now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. What fruit is our bathroom gonna be? Bathroom, I think of blue because of the water. So I would say blueberries, but it looks like it's gonna be a strawberry. That's gonna be cute. Wait, a strawberry bathroom? I'm really looking forward to that. First, get our strawberry painting. Strawberries are usually just like red, aren't they? But the thing is, is that the red is really intense. Ooh, I'm not vibing right now. I don't like this. We're gonna do like an interchanging color. So on these sides, it's red and over on this side is white to sort of help balance it out. I think I'm thinking of pink for strawberries because I'm thinking of like a strawberry cake and strawberry cakes are always pink. Why does this look so bad? Okay, I'm gonna keep these walls to white. Of course, for a strawberry bathroom, I gotta use the fancy flush. I feel like strawberries are fancy. You know why I think they're fancy? Because they're so expensive. <laughs> they have the audacity to charge so much for strawberries. Meanwhile, they literally are gonna spoil the next day after buying them. Like they're so useless. Because strawberries are fancy, I'm literally gonna give them this corner bath. I like never use this. So this is weird for me. For the sink, I feel like giving them this modern bowl sink. I chose the circular stones and it kind of reminds me of these like seeds in the strawberry. You can literally see them in the painting. It's kind of a similar vibe. Let's just go ahead with the circular stones. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> what about the toilet? No, that doesn't look right. It just looks wrong. Make it red, make it red. Ooh, look at that fancy toilet. I feel like I have to make it red. Oh no, no, not the whole thing. Just, just the 
this little flippity flappity thing, the thing that you raise up and put back down. Oh, the lid, yes, <laughs> the lid. You need your mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fanciest of them all? Yeah, you're right, it's the toilet. <laughs> I don't like the oval mirrors. I don't like them at all. What if I make it red? It's a strawberry bathroom. What am I meant to do? Do we have any strawberry items? Oh, we do. It's a strawberry face mask. Perfect. We also have like the strawberry bush. And since it's a strawberry bathroom, I feel like we need to use it. <laughs> Not on the corner bath. And I put it in this modern one. Oh, come on. I know you have space. I literally see you having space. Forcing me to put these strawberry bushes in this huge planter box. I don't have much of an option. The one that I want to use, which is this one it just won't go in there this is so unfortunate you know what roses are the color of strawberry i feel like it wouldn't hurt to have some of these right here also it makes this corner bath look extremely romantic because i want this to be a kind of fancy bathroom i'm gonna use the glass shelving we're gonna store a ton of toilet paper on this what happens if you make the toilet paper red oh no <laughs> that doesn't look okay <laughs> oh my god i came back out to the avocado living room and it just feels like a breath of fresh air i think we're done with our strawberry bathroom and now we're gonna move on out here to the kitchen it's time to decide what is the kitchen gonna be what kind of fruit are we feeling like watermelon did we just go from strawberry to watermelon because the colors are kind of similar all right so we got watermelon kitchen which means we get to use a mixture of the green and of the red <laughs> I mean, that's so weird i don't know how to feel about that working with just red was difficult but working with green and red together it might look kind of ugly right now but i promise we're gonna make it look nicer we're gonna start off with the modern counters if we throw as much money as we can at this kitchen then maybe it'll have a better chance of looking good fancy stove goes right here fancy fridge goes right here good old average kitchen sink goes right there i'm gonna get them a beverage fridge what's happening down here where did our counter go <gasps> wait what you can put the beverage fridge in the counter cool but that's not what i want i'm gonna just leave it there for now modern glass hood this place is not looking good it's time to place the appliances toaster coffee maker and the blender and let's not forget the microwave how do i even recolor these cabinets maybe if i make it all marble it'll work out <laughs> marble fixes everything guys all right let's see what do we get when we search water watermelon watermelon plant okay we're gonna have to use that for sure let me just grab the watermelon painting put the watermelon painting right here let me grab that same planter box we got out here why does Bloxburg do me like this this is a lie there is obviously space it's not even going red clearly it doesn't want to go inside the planter it's very picky all right mr watermelon what you want do you want to go inside this rustic planter box no how about this radius planter box i have never used this seriously you're okay with this can we like compromise you go into the middle one no okay the watermelon plant is not nice to us what about the circle planter? You cannot have a problem with this. No way. You just stay there. Can I put another one? Oh, I can put a multiple. You now have company. And I'm just going to put a basic shape underneath it to raise it up. Yeah, that makes sense in the kitchen. <laughs> Whatever. I think we made that work to our best ability. I'm just going to give them a marble backsplash because I'm just having a very hard time. And I feel like marble kind of helps. Let's go browse the most expensive stuff because <laughs> this place is lacking. And if I throw money, it'll look good. That is the moral of the story. If something looks bad, just keep throwing fancy stuff at it until it looks good that is nice can i put a watermelon plant on this yes i can that is what i should have used this whole time to just show off the watermelon plant just the one watermelon on the verge of what i don't know it's on the verge of something <laughs> on the verge of going bad probably it looks like they had a competition and this watermelon got first place i'm gonna give them the premium trophy this reward means that you are the number one watermelon plant congratulations what have i been saying this whole time trying to throw money at this place is so silly throwing money never works you know what does work though? Vine plants. If you put vine plants everywhere, it's gonna end up looking good somehow. This is our watermelon kitchen. Now we're gonna move on to this bedroom. I can't believe we only have three fruits left. What is the bedroom fruit gonna be? <laughs> blueberry. Okay. You know what's weird about blueberries? Blueberries are purple, but they're called blue. Please, somebody make that make sense because I don't understand. If I'm doing blueberries, do I make them blue because of blueberries or do I make them purple because they actually look purple? I'm asking the important questions here. If you're wondering what this is, it's like a custom wardrobe thing. We're gonna see how it's gonna turn out in the end, but it looks cool so far I'm gonna give them this fancy single bed because of these thingies I feel like a blueberry room would have a lot of these like curves all around it. This is looking coastal. <laughs> this is not beachy It's blueberries. I'm messing up. I think it all happened with the pillows It's because I chose square pillows. The more round pillows the better, right? The resize time. I regret everything Cancel this challenge. I'm done. Wait, that's kind of cute. It kind of looks like a heart. Never mind. Don't cancel this challenge It's growing on me. Everything I do just makes it look more coastal <laughs> we're gonna give them a fancy nightstand fancy tall dresser right here so it like highlights the 
blueberry fancy bench right here. The fancy fragrances are also giving blueberry vibes. And we're just all gonna pretend that we know what I mean when I say blueberry vibes. What about the lava lamp? Are those like blueberries in there? Are they melted blueberries? Maybe. None of these are blueberry vibes. Are you a blueberry vibe, Mr. Penguin? It literally shook his head saying, no, I'm not a blueberry vibe. Okay, buddy, get out of here. Do penguins even eat blueberries? Alphabet lamp, huh. I'm gonna use the lava lamp and I'm gonna pretend that somebody melted some blueberries in there. I'm gonna grab a cork board, put it right here behind the bed. Just a couple of printed pictures and some very important blueberry notes. I don't like how the stool is in the corner of the room. It looks like it got detention or something. Last thing we gotta do is add the wardrobe. I was thinking of grabbing a wardrobe that's really tall. See, none of these are tall. I need the tallest one. We'll just go into storage. Right over here, we can find this traditional closet. I'm gonna just use like a mixture of them. If for decoration, I'm gonna put this floor plant right here. Maybe just to make this whole place look nicer, I'm gonna add some more flowers. I really wanna add these LED lights to the sides of this wardrobe. And I think that's gonna be it for our blueberry bedroom. Now we're gonna move on over here to our office. Our office can either be banana or orange. So what's it gonna be, Mr. Wheel? It's time for you to decide, banana or orange. Oh, wait, it's so close. Okay, it's gonna be orange. It's gonna be orange. It went over, but that was so close. The fact that it's just like here by a smidge. An orange office. I think we can make this work. Pastel brown is called brown, but in my opinion, this is not brown. That's gonna be the orange. I'm gonna use this as an accent color. And just to make it look a little less saturated, I'm gonna put a texture like this. I'm gonna put two orange trees right outside the office. Oh, that's so cute. Now we just gotta yoink our orange painting. Put it right here for inspiration. Should we do orange furniture? <laughs> Sapling floor plant side to side to the desk. They just like oranges that much, huh? They got an orange painting here, an orange painting here, and two orange trees to look at outside. They can never get enough of the oranges. Here's another orange for you to look at, no problem. I'm a very generous person. I'm gonna give you a pen cup, a little trash can underneath your desk. This is a pretty good office, but I think what we could do is a little design. I got something in mind. So I recolored these insets to be orange and they look so cool. I've never recolored the insets to look like this before. And I'm just like amazed by how awesome it looks. Our orange office is done. Now we're gonna move on to the dining area. So we know that our dining area is gonna be a banana. I'm gonna keep the walls neutral. I think it just looks better neutral, but I do wanna grab this inset design and I wanna do it over here too. Instead of orange, we're gonna make it yellow because a banana is yellow. Oh no, I can't put it here because our woven fence is like clipping through the house. What? What are you doing, Mr. Fence? All right, and then say here, another one here. I wanna grab a really big table, but let's just go for this hairpin one. Put it right in the center. What kind of chair is giving banana? You know what? This chair is kind of giving banana because of the shape of it. The armrest of it here is kind of making me think of banana. We have this as a banana object. I think I need to use it because it's literally a banana. It would be a disgrace if I don't use the banana. Let's give a placemat for every person here. I'm so sorry that there's a banana in the corner of the dining area. Just ignore it. The placemats being yellow is a good move. I'm gonna make this yellow as well, even though I don't really like it. Couple of plates. This is how we hide the banana room. Just close the curtains. The banana curtains. Oh no, I literally have to make them banana colored. The more I'm like sitting here and making a yellow, it's kind of working, I think. Maybe I'm just saying that to convince myself. I nearly forgot the banana painting. I'm gonna put it up here as a threat. <laughs> I'm threatening you with this banana painting. If you keep acting weird, this is gonna be you. It looks like it's gonna cause trouble. I sense it. You're up to no good. I had to move the dining table aside because I wanna put a square carpet like this one. Look at it, it's literally yellow. <laughs> gonna grab these LED lights. Same thing we did for the strawberry, we're gonna do for the banana. Oh, it's really bringing attention to it. This is our dining area. And now we're done with the house. The total cost of our different fruit house is 122,000. It's actually very pricey. Here's a very quick 360. I made it a very suburban style. I think the reason it's so expensive is because of all these bushes that I put and also probably the orange trees. Let's go inside. When you first enter, you're immediately in the avocado living room. And yes, avocado is a fruit. This is a little bit of a tight space for a living room, but you know what? It works. If you go all the way down from here and you take a left, you enter the strawberry bathroom. And this one was the toughest room for me. I had a very hard time because I think red in a bathroom is difficult, but I think it turned out good. The LED lights really make this place look nice. Moving on from the strawberry bathroom, if you come over here, this is the water watermelon kitchen. Wait, what am I even saying? The strawberry bathroom was nowhere near as difficult as the watermelon kitchen. I had to use green and red for both of these because the watermelon is also green and then when you cut into it, it's red. And we also have a couple of watermelon plants over in this corner. To the right of our watermelon kitchen, we have our blueberry bed.
bedroom. Blueberries look purple, but they're called blue, so I leaned into the blue. I tried to use as many like circular pillows as I could because blueberries are round. And we made this little like custom closet. It looks so awesome. Over here is our orange office. <laughs> the orange office is a vibe for sure. Orange trees, orange paintings, orange on the table. <laughs> There's a lot of orange in this office. And then finally, the dining area. Every time I searched the fruit inside the build menu, I had to put whatever came up, right? And for banana, this thing came up. I really don't like it. So I put a painting over it. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye.